GameStop's holiday game plan is now in full swing. The video game retailer just completed opening about 80 of its pop-up stores in the hopes of nabbing some of those much-desired holiday dollars. Joining me here at Post 9 is Paul Rains. He is the CEO of GameStop. Paul, good to have you. Welcome back. Great to be with you, Carl. Walk me through uh, some of the holiday strategy here, 80 pop-ups. 80 pop-up stores. We call them GameStop Kids. And what we learned, Carl, is talking to our community of Power Up Rewards members, there's a lot of gameplay that is intersecting with toys, and we didn't see anyone serving that well. So we decided to go out and create a GameStop Kids brand as a pop-up concept for holiday. Things like Skylanders, which is the hottest thing for kids out there that's both a toy and a game, and we're serving those consumers pretty well. Is this more or less aggressive than you were last year? Uh, more aggressive, yeah, more aggressive. You know, Carl, what's happening is we see ourselves taking share in lots of different segments. And in the kids segment, in uh, things like Skylanders, like some of the Lego toys, Minecraft, we see the opportunity for us to gain more and more shares. Share from whom? Uh, there's a lot of the existing toy players who are trying to integrate forward into that. Uh, some of the online players you'll see out there. So those are the folks that we think we're uniquely positioned to do a better job with. We were chatting off camera about the new Wii U game console. Yeah. Game changer, literally? Game changer. So the, for, pardon the pun? <laughs> game changer, Carl. You know, we uh, I spent about six hours last weekend on the Wii U, and it's a really innovative device. You know, you think about it, the Wii U has a tethered tablet that you can play on a tablet and on a console. So you can play all of that traditional IP like Super Mario and my wife and I were playing Donkey Kong last weekend, which I haven't played in years. Oh, well, yeah, but you can also play back. the high-definition graphics games like Call of Duty and Assassin's Creed. So we think it's a real game-changer for Nintendo. Does it bother you when people say if GameStop doesn't find a different way, they're destined to be the borders of tomorrow, the Barnes & Noble of tomorrow? Well, thank you for, uh, for not using some of the other ones, Carl. <laughs> But we get that a lot. Look, I've been at this four years, and GameStop, our team, has been in a transformation for four years. Uh, we do hear that. I would say less so. If you notice, that the rise in our shares relates to people finally seeing that this is really a cyclical business. At the same time, the fact that we've created a digital and a mobile business that didn't even exist, you know, a year ago. I mean, we're going to do, uh, I think, 600 million-ish of digital receipts and 150 to 200 million of mobile sales that didn't exist a few years ago. Add to that an emerging console cycle and a capital allocation plan that's bought back a billion dollars worth of shares and initiated a dividend. So we think that uh, those old, that old thinking is really disappearing on the GameStop. Have the, I mean, we mentioned the Wii, but have the console makers been aggressive enough in your view? Is there enough there to stand on? I think that uh, the console cycle has been the longest in history. And I think our friends at Sony and Microsoft would probably agree with me on that. The fact that Nintendo now has a product coming out is putting pressure on, I think, everyone in the space. Because consumers are looking for innovation. You know, Carl, they want to see innovative product. And I think you'll see new products from the other console makers. So at the same time, tablets are becoming an important part of our business. Uh, phone gaming is an important part of the business. So innovation is what consumers are looking for. Finally, we were chatting about your former days as a, a Home Depot executive, which yeah. is when I first met you years ago. Um, lessons that you've transferred to this business, I mean, it's a little ironic that they are just now catching, finally, at long last, a tailwind in housing, right? Absolutely. That cycle's great. There's a lot of good people there. What I've learned and what we've tried to do at GameStop with our team is we must drive a very high rate of internal change when you're in a, a critical cycle like we've been in. And I think I'm pleased our rate of change has been greater than that around us, and that's why you see us, really, versus other competitors in electronics, uh, really having a position and a strategy for the future. And 2013 looks great for us. Right. So. And you play how many how many hours a week? Do you my play? Wife and I, my wife and I, we we try to negotiate. I play about four hours of video games a week. You know, my son says, Carl, how tough a business can it be yeah. that it's only video games? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> if only that were true. If only that were true. <laughs> Paul, thanks so much. Thank you, Paul Carl. Paul Reigns of GameStop. Best of luck in the holidays. Thanks very much.